Hello again, this is Reverend Kyle with uh, something a little fun this time. Uh, this video is going to be a demonstration of the uh, two things. Uh, number one, it's going to be a uh, emulator uh, called Droid MU Lite, and this is free off of the uh, Android market. I'm also going to be demonstrating for you a Wiimote uh, controller application and uh, together those two things make a, a very interesting gameplay experience on the HP touchpad. So let's get started here. Uh, first of all you'll notice that I do have a uh, Wiimote here and uh, along with it I am fortunate enough to have the uh, classic controller uh, which makes game play uh, in my opinion uh, ten times better. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I have already installed the uh, emulator, and again, uh, I'll, I'll put the name of it in the video description, uh, and then also the Wii Mote. Uh, it is called Wii Mote Controller. Here's two things that you need to have beforehand. Uh, number one, make sure your battery and your Wii Mote is uh, charged, at least uh, semi decent and also make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on in your settings so I'll go into my settings here and uh, just show you that uh, I do have my Bluetooth turned on if uh, you go into your keyboards after you install the Wii controller IME uh, app you'll notice that you'll have the ability to check that off uh, you do want to have that checked off and active uh, just to make sure that this all works for you. So let's go back. I do have the Droid Emulite uh, plugged in, or uh, I'm sorry, already installed on the desktop here. And I'm going to go into the Wiimote Controller app. And there are two options here. The top one is to initialize and connect, and then the second one is to select it as the main device. So what I'm going to do here is... Uh, well, if I hit the init and connect right now to initialize, it'll search and search and search and find nothing. Now, on the Wiimote, if I hold down the 1 and 2, it will start to blink. And if I press it again, the initialization will find it. It'll find the one Wiimote. <clears throat> now, as soon as you start pushing buttons now, it will indicate that it has identified each button being pressed. Same with the directional controllers and the buttons up here. Everything indicates. Basically, they've had these mapped to a special keyboard. So now from here, we're going to go to Select Wii Controller IME. And here are all of our keyboards. Now, again, if you didn't have that checked off in the settings, select input method you would not see the Wii controller IME so I'm going to choose that and now basically my keyboard is this if I were to go and try to type something somewhere I would not get my on-screen keyboard this is my keyboard now so let's go back to my desktop and hit the emulator now uh, I want you to buy I'll check that out later I wanted to make sure that I used a ROM that would be uh, fitting, and since uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES has been a game that I have uh, owned for quite a long time, I feel very comfortable in showing all of you uh, this game that I do legally own. First of all, we're going to go into our menu here, and then go into the settings. In here, we have a couple options. Uh, you'll notice that this emulator emulates several different uh, game platforms so uh, you should find something in here of your liking we're gonna first go into NES settings <clears throat> now it wants to know about key mappings and we click on that or press that and uh, I already have this set up to uh, indicate that up is this and down and left and right I've already done that and then saved the profile so I don't need to do that here but you on your first attempt will need to do that so let's go back and back again and again you can do on screen if you want to do directional pad you can actually have the buttons here on the screen or this way uh, that's not bad let's go ahead and see what happens here Oh, 
We'll just hit a level here. As you can see, the gameplay itself is very fluid. Uh, the buttons respond in the way that I would want them to. Uh, and I'm dead. Okay. So basic concept here is that now I can sit with a almost a 10 inch screen and play my video game as I choose. Uh, there are saves and closes, and that's very handy uh, for games uh, such as this where you'd play for a long period of time and, and really wish that uh, you could save and walk away from it and come back later. Uh, I'm very pleased with the emulation uh, of this app. Uh, I'm very pleased with the controller and its ability to make this gameplay uh, as accurate as it possibly can be. Uh, so this combination here is very fun and I thought I'd share that with you. Um, hopefully uh, you'll, uh, those of you who have this equipment, I mean obviously I could have just used this uh, just as easily and it would have been just as enjoyable uh, but this right here really uh, on other games more complicated games having the other buttons it's a phenomenal combination so uh, hopefully you find this uh, to be intriguing and check this out on your own so this has been uh, Reverend Kyle with uh, another app review